I just had a video viewer on BitChute leave a comment on my last video concerning the gates and the initiation through the gates. And that was in regards to the solar plexus, that dimensional portal of consciousness. And the comment was to the effect that, hey, Satanist love hand signs and Baphomet hand signs. Well, here's how the light of knowledge, Gnosis, how it will serve you. And, and I didn't respond to this because it's a negative. It's just a negative con. Uh, it wasn't even a, a comment of inquiry. It was just a, a branding judgmental, uh, uh, purposely inflammatory type of uh, comment. There were some other things that were said, but essentially it was started off with, uh, in regards to this, uh, hand symbol, which I've, time and time again have taken pains and been very careful to explain that I, these are mudras. These are uh, taken from various traditions uh, and they're not, you know, Masonic in my, and they very well may have cross uh, purpose, you know, uh, repurposed and ut utilitarian purposes in other traditions. But, you know, um, Hey, a hand is a hand and fingers are fingers. It's all about the intent. So, but in regards to this knowledge, this all of this, uh, you know, funda Christian fundamentalism and organized religion. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to be inflammatory, but it is a program of the negative Anunnaki, uh, an enslavement program. It's simply all it is. And there is a lot of disinformation and purposeful keeping people enslaved within their minds about true knowledge a true power that empowers that self empowers the individual and so for example gates talking about gates which are really dimensional portals of consciousness and understanding and that are frequencies of vibration of peace of higher level emotional uh, operations when you're at peace and empowered within yourself you are you're not a a manipulated entity you have self-empowered yourself with all that that means so for example the word gates and uh just to focus on this and clear up kind of like some of this uh information where people are constantly coming in trying to gaslight other people to sow confusion and thus sow lower uh vibrational consciousness anything that is a, of a fearful or attacking or divisive nature is of the enemy, is of the old paradigm. So the word translated gates, uh, and the way that I've been employing it and using it, it means opening. It's an opening, um, translucent, transparent openings of all of your energy dimensions of consciousness. For example, it could be a door or a gate, specifically the gate to, to a strong or well-guarded city. In this case, the new city, New Jerusalem, your consciousness, which is heaven upon earth. Or, you know, so a fortified door, a, an entranceway, a guarded door. Yes, you should practice psychic hygiene and self-defense uh, and energetic um, discernment, if you will. But it, this gates means ports to, I mean, supernatural gates like these gates, portals. And, you know, and there again, most people think that this terminology is like some kind of new age jargon. Uh, no, everything that the occult operates in is a counterfeit of the real kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. The new age and the occult operate in spiritual truth, laws, and our principles that were stolen from the kingdom of God, the true God source. And the issue becomes that the truth is twisted and there is a perversion of God's precious and beautiful spiritual truths. And you see the devil is a liar and the father of lies and deception. And, and everyone who is trying to come at others who obviously have a well-intentioned, well-meaning intention, as I have, as I have been at great pains to uh, be very inclusive with the message and promoting the law of one. So the, the devil, though, is a liar and the father of lies and deception. And so it's not new age these these terms all of this stuff has been hijacked and 
It, this is all scriptural. The Bible is, like I said, is, is full of truth. It's just been taught wrong. It's been taught as an enslavement pro protocol by middlemen, by men who are trying to keep power to themselves and not empower the masses and not empower their fellow people. So these portals are scriptural, scriptural. Just because it's some of this knowledge harken back all the way back to Akhenaten, the first monotheist uh, god, and all this, you, literally anything that is of deception and divisiveness is negative lower energy. That's how you use your discernment. Does it make you feel good and empowered, or does it is it seeking to confuse you? And so, no. Power, power mudras. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is light. Light is power. Light is will overcome the darkness in any situation. In this case, it's the light of knowledge that I'm trying to share. And so these portals, these portals, these gates are he within heavenly realms of understanding and dimensions. And some uh, prefer to Christianize it and call it uh, heaven. You know, it, 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 it makes them feel more comfortable. It makes you feel more comfortable. The Bible refers to openings into the spiritual realms like this as doors, gates, or windows of heaven. And, but if you, it's all through scripture, all through the scripture. Uh, and the thing is, I want you to see that gates like this are continuously open over some people's lives. Do you know some people that prosper no matter what happens? Abraham, after Melchizedek spoke a blessing over him, lived under an open heaven. Everything that he touched prospered. Some people are like that. If you give them lemons, they make lemonade. It does not matter what happens in their life. They prosper from it. That's because they have this type of spiritual dynamic, dynamic operating in their lives. They are living under an open heaven. The grace of God rests upon them. The portals are open. The dimensional portals are transparent. They're not opaque. They have their heart connection, which the heart is essentially is the fourth gate. It's the gate, the Orion gate. It's it's uh, and you know leading into um, just opening of the fourth gate, the heart and love, which is the heart chakra, is the is the gate between the lower chakras and the upper upper chakras. Isn't that right, Bella? So here begin the praises and glorifying of coming out from and of going into the glorious inner world that is the beautiful hidden place. I am yesterday, the timeless one. I know today. Now it's concerning the pool, your navel, your sacral chakra uh, of the well of life, where your energetic, your creative energy stems from. It is the way which by my father, the unseen one, travels when he goes forth to the realms of initiation. Now the southern gate, the navel of the ascent, is the gate of the pillars of he who rises, who rises in their metahuman status. It is the gate where the God who rises lifts the disk of heaven. The gate of the north, your crown chakra is the gate of the great God, your great connection to intelligent infinity, to source, the prime creator, the divine grid programmer. The northern gate of the ascent is the two leaves, the two hemispheres of the brain, the right and left hemispheres connected, united, of the door through which the unmanifested God passes when he goeth forth to the eastern horizon of heaven, horizon of heaven. From the back of the head, over the crown of the head, and on toward the frontal lobe and third eye behind the forehead. If thine eye be single, then thine whole body be full of light. This is the transitional gate, this fourth gate, the, the Orion gate, between the first three gates and the last three. This gate, this gate, this heart gate chakra, this dimensional portal gives us the clearest picture of our purpose here and initiates our journey towards it. Can also provide the toughest challenges as our purpose on the earth might not be the easiest to attain. Again, this is because it brings up our deepest fears and deepest woundings, but these woundings are, are our pathway into manifesting our purpose. Even if that purpose takes years to achieve, this particular gateway can take quite a time to work through in our lives as it, as it is the bridge between our normal life and our spiritual purpose. Rome was not built in a day. No. All Rome did was build, create the Christian religion through a pagan Roman emperor known as Constantine. But understanding your spiritual dimensions, your gates, uh, having knowledge uh, preserves you from being gaslighted by those. Anyone who's trying to leave negative comments and uh, be divisive 
literally in any manner, in any fashion, not they're trying to detract from your message, from your, your, uh, your, your growth, you know, if they're doing it in a certain manner, a certain divisive and attacking with negative energy in a way that's meant to sow confusion, then they are of the enemy. They are of the devil. They, their father is the devil. And, you know, and I get a little dramatic sometimes with all this and I have to watch that because it's really the negative polarity. It's meant to balance. Uh, it's meant to, you know, but these, these types of uh, opportunities in your life where there might be some sort of a difficulties, uh, challenges, obstacles for you to get from one point to the next. I've been going through that ever since the beginning of a, uh, um, June, uh, no, what was, what comes before June? May? Yeah, May. So I've been going through a lot of stuff in personal life, uh, moving from one area to another area. Uh, but in the process finished, uh, one book, uh, and have another book started, uh, trying to, and you know, but it's always, I'm literally telling you, maintaining your center and your connection to peace, your intelligent infinity, you will weather the storm. You will be the eye of the maelstrom, no matter what takes place. And that's why I was saying, uh, if you have these gates open in your life, uh, no matter what happens, uh, you see um, some people, you see they prosper no matter what happens. And that is being in, in, the, in the heart through that transparent connection to intelligent infinity. And everything that you touch will prosper. And the people who are connected to an intelligent infinity through their heart chakra, uh, that, are, that are in exodus from their normal life to a spiritualized life, that are in exodus from harmonic universe number one of dimension three up to rising as a metahuman into harmonic universe number two with fifth dimensional conscious, the grace of God rests upon them. And so it is. Namaste. Namaskaram.